Hey guys, so I have some good news and bad news and some things to ponder about the BTS stamps that are going to be available starting next month. Officially on June 13th, you can go into a post office here in Korea and purchase these stamps, although I doubt there's going to be much inventory because there's going to be a massive pre-sale campaign. Now, the good news, of course, is that this is such amazing news in a way. It's a great way to officially commemorate BTS in the post office stamps, which is a good honor. In the stamp collector world, I didn't realize like this was still, it looks like a huge thing. And it gives fans something to celebrate physically for the 10th anniversary of BTS. Now, the bad news, <laughs> the bad news, let's go over some of this, um, the ways to, ha to get the stamps. So if you are Korean, you get first dibs on these stamps and it's on the main postal site that you would go to on May 22nd to May 25th. So it's just those few days where you can get the pre-sales as a Korean. Now what does it take to be a Korean? Essentially you have to have some sort of residency and an official residency number or a citizen's number and not only that most likely if you want uh, you need a Korean cell phone. You literally can't do anything in Korea without without a Korean cell phone to verify your identity. They found a system that works with the telecom companies to quickly verify you are uh, who you say you are so for those days the korean consumers can get the stamps now for people overseas what are you supposed to do you can't go to the main postal website which looks like it's pretty modern and it's been updated no no you need to go to the special website that Korea probably made in the 1990s and still hasn't updated. I mean, this thing looks like pre-AOL. If you don't even know what that means, then you probably weren't even born yet and your parents probably didn't even meet yet. And so this website is for the is for the non-Korean folks to be able to buy pre-sales and also some of the stamps we already do have uh, for the co the stamp collectors around the world starting June 1st you have to go to Korea stamp now this is this is the trickery or the oversight officially even from the Korean postal service they've announced that the website's domain is koreastamp.or like organization.kr well if you go there and if any of these people who publish these stories, especially in the English print media, which I, I know one of the kids, I know he doesn't double check his work because I've had to double check his work before at a different news station. And if you go to or.kr, it'll send you to some page that does not exist. The real website, you guys, is koreastamp.go, like government, go.kr. A tiny but critical difference. Yeah, and that dude who like did, never double checked his work and I fixed it, and he's like, oh, you didn't change that much. Yeah, critically, critical difference. Even if it's one letter, didn't change it that much, change your whole world. So if you are somebody overseas who is trying to get these stamps and then on the day you're like, oh my God, what, what is this website? It's because they even announced the wrong website and everybody just didn't bother to check it and then they just uh, sent it on out there. Or maybe it's even deliberate to help scalpers who really know that it's geo.kr and get up all the stamps and where, what are you going to do? Now the stamps, you can have it sent to you and judging on the 
postage rates for other stamps that are currently available, like <laughs> Kings of the Joseon Dynasty, musicals, Kakao Friends, even Kim Jong-un and former President Moon Jae-in, Korean astronomy, protected marine species, President Yoon's inauguration. I mean, stamp collectors around the world, they can still buy this. So based on the postage rates for those... It's about $30 for express shipping, which is four to five days, or five to seven dollars for standard shipping for two weeks. Now, this is just for these stamps that they're already selling. Now, this BTS package, I don't know if it's going to be the same postal rates because it looks like they're throwing in more. So you can get one sheet of the actual stamps, and you can actually use these stamps to send mail. Awesome discography. It beautiful and so 7,701 so that's about six or seven dollars you can get a commemorative packet which basically is that sheet plus a book a photo book or the commemorative book and that's 20,000 won so like almost 20 dollars and then you can also just get a combo of the two like one sheet and then one commemorative packet so it sounds like you're going to get one sheet another sheet and then the book and that's for 27,700 won so basically you're just adding the two up so almost like 25 to 27 dollars so that's what you're going to get that's how you're going to go get these stamps. Do not go to or.kr, go to geo.kr and you know, I mean, probably compete with some scalpers who's been tipped off by whoever works in this you know, post office. And now that is the thing to ponder. They most likely made this deal because this stuff has to go through a long process. I think it's even made by the Korean, printed by Korean Mint, which basically is essentially like the people who print out the paper money. So this is not a small deal that happens overnight, and probably I, I believe that we even heard about this while they were still debating to give military exemption to BTS. You're willing to put them on the stamp. I mean, who else gets a stamp? At least from the stamp, the stamp, uh, sh the stamp store, the stamp store on the website that looks like it's from 1990. Oh, by the way, it doesn't work on Chrome. At least on a Mac, you have to go on Safari on a Mac to be able to use this website. So that's another thing. So I think they're putting up all these like little hoops, uh, these little barriers so that uh, the scalpers, the people, maybe even people in the post office to be able to, you know, buy them all up and then sell them on the secondary market. Now, the who else gets to be on these stamps uh kings of the joseon dynasty okay yeah i know a lot of you guys you know consider bts kings but obviously not the people in the current government but they're willing to put them in the same class in terms of stamps stars yeah literal stars in the sky those get a stamp protected marine species they get a stamp is not BTS a protected, protected, precious creation of this world? Aren't they like stars in the sky? Aren't they basically kings of Korea? And yeah, because they get a stamp too. Aren't they like your friends, like the cacao friends? They get a stamp. Not anybody gets a stamp. Did any of those classical musicians who I know you had to practice a violin a lot to be able to win that International Classical Music Award, playing some music that has been played by every kid who has ever taken violin lessons for the past two or 300 years. Did you get a stamp? Yeah, but you got a military exemption. Did any of those people in those other exempted categories ever, ever, have a stamp and did the korean government ever make tons of cash on the stamp? because you're essentially printing money that people are going to pay you for you know you buy these stamps are you ever going to lick it or now it's a sticker are you ever going to put it on an envelope to mail no that forever will never be spent back 
So essentially, you are getting massive profit off of the <laughs> printing stickers, stickers. And, you know, of course, the BTS audience has a lot of young fans that are perhaps used to stickers. But I mean, it, the BTS fandom is so wide, so wide. And I think, again, the underemphasized category of BTS fans are actually like grandparents. Um, I kid you not, so many people have basically commented on this channel about they're a proud, like, senior BTS fan. Where else do you get that worldwide? And yes, they should have stamps, just as the stars in the sky have stamps and kings of Joseon and protected endangered species because we have totally, totally put them in that level and yet disrespected them at the same time. So, the Korea Stamp Company, I hope after you get your influx of cash, you invest maybe a little bit on updating your website, perhaps even updating <clears throat> the official address where people go. Make it work on Chrome and take it out of 1993, please. Please. It's a bit embarrassing. That's where we're gonna, that's where foreign fans have to go to buy their stamps. And my computer said it's not even a secure website. So I don't know if they're gonna be wanting to put, you know, gather the credit card information of people from all around the world. It's gonna crash. So, most, most, uh, most likely you will have to try to get a friend here in Korea to get you the stamps if you're overseas, overseas fan. All right, guys. Well, what do you think? Are you going to buy the stamps or are you not going to buy the stamps in protest? Put your comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. See you again next time. Bye-bye.